Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Look, we actually have real loading. Welcome back to Flimbo's Quest on the Commodore 64. What a great loading screen. What a great loading music that was by Ren Urhand. He is one of the European composers doing wonders with the SID chip. So, well, this is funky as well, isn't it? Part of music is funky as well. So, this game, uh, the graphics as shown at the bottom here, Arthur Van Joel. Uh, he also did the graphics a few years earlier for another game on a different publishing house called Thalamus called Hawkeye. The games are fairly similar. You'll see that the graphics are quite similar. A wonderful parallax scrolling in the background. Music for this game was, uh, as I said, Ren Ohan and... What's his name? It's like... Uh, is it Jules? Jurgerund or something like that. Anyway, they're fantastically adept uh, Sid musicians. Um, System 3, this was a, a British publishing house. As was Thalamus, actually. Um, and this is a great little platforming game. So let's just get into it. What you have to do is pick up certain uh, scrolls to spell out a word per level. Uh, and that gets you on to the next level. There are a couple of little... There we go. Five coloured hearts gives an extra life. Now that is... I didn't know what the hearts did, but there we go. You you play Pearly. Why it's called Flimbo's Quest, who has any idea? But let's get into it. And even this tune is brilliant. So, normal sort of platforming fair push down to drop. Shoot things, they will drop something. Lovely graphics, to be fair. Great sprites. Now the scanner in the bottom there is telling us we need to kill a dinosaur type looking thing. We've only got 17 minutes to do this level, which obviously we will do. Oh, I got killed. Blimey, the the uh Flash detection is spot on. I think that was pixel perfect. Um, so I'm just going to traverse the levels. You get a certain amount of monsters per level. So we've got sort of butterfly things, dragonflies, weird dudes. I'm in some cave systems. And we can probably go in that door, which we'll do. Uh, they are butterflies, I think. Look at how that parallax works. It's beautiful. And there is what we need. Let's kill him. There you go. There's the scroll. We've got to take that scroll back to the... He is a hard snail, dude. Oh, he's dropped some cash. Let's take it. Do, 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 do. We're at the end of the level this way. I could jump on those. Uh, yes, yeah, so down, drops you down a level. And the monsters spawn in specific areas. And on each level, there is something... I'm sure there are sort of hidden things on each level as well. I don't really know what they are, but each level has uh, a cave like this. And there's a sort of bomb jack thing going on, so you can see one of them is purple, which gives 20 points on the old scoreometer. It's actually the money in the game. Uh, and you've got to get them in order. Aka bomb jack, which I'm doing like a boss, boss jack. Oh, I, I have to say, the, um, ah, ka, ka, ka. not that good, eh? Okay, over here. The music's fantastic. The music is great. And the fact that he's, um, well, both of them, I think they're both credited with the music and the sound effects. They've got the, um, the sound effects going on at the same time, so they're only doing this main tune on two of the channels to allow one extra channel to do the sound effects. Very good. Don't kill me. Right, we just need to get this back. We could just avoid these dudes, actually. First thing, one of the first things we're going to do is 
get the... Oh no. Okay, we've now picked up a heart. Okay, you can see it at the top there. This shop is where you actually drop all of your scrolls. You can actually buy a whole level scroll there for 2,500. A single letter for 400. That does something. Oh, it that puts the time up. There is a time up per level. That's invulnerability for a bit. This is what we want. This gives us uh, increased damage and range, which we will have. These guys should die in one shot now. Yeah, we are one shot them. But I just want to go over to the other side of the map and just have a look at what's over there. I'm pretty certain there are some kind of secrets. Oh, we picked up a um, invulnerability there. That's why I'm munching through everything. Yeah, there's another one of those. Cool. We're at the end of the level. Get in here. It is worthwhile trying to do the bomb jacks here. If you want. In fact, it looks like the order is the same. Got it. Get it done. Mercy. Mercy Buku. Actually, having a timer is quite good that it preserves the uh, money that was around as well. Right, there's the scroll, so let's grab that. And get back and drop it in. Now, how many more do we need to do here? I remember rightly the first. Oh, totaled it again. So that's one of the things about the game is if you're too eager to pick up your gubs, you're going to stitch yourself up. Um, now we need to find this guy again. He was over here, wasn't he? He should be in the same place. There he is. Right, the scroll should overwrite the heart. So this is pretty much the fair of the game. Um, but it very well executed. Um, uh, right, we need to snail. Now, if I remember rightly, there are only three to get on this level. I'm looking for a heart. I'm, I'm trying to get the extra life heart thing. But I might wait till the next... Oh, look, he's there. Solid. Do you know what? Let's just do it. I was going to wait until the next level. Uh, I was just... No, I'm not. Okay, I thought I'd ruined it again. Now, I'm sure there are secrets on this as well. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we went on two, so another one of those big buddies. Oh, he's right there. Later. Thank you. That was easy. <laughs> and we're in. That should be the level. Level completed. You get various different bonuses. Um, we'll try and get the extra life at the top. Um, but we shall see. And yes, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We have some actual loading. Um, that's interesting, the game wasn't actually coded by the same people that did Hawkeye, but if you've played Hawkeye or know what Hawkeye is, it's a very similar um, platformer game where you have to go left and right picking up things. Um, many more levels, Hawkeye, uh, and the music was done by um, Jerome Tell, actually, from the Maniacs of Noise, and that's very good music as well. Uh, so, what have we got here? We need to get... Him. There you go. Cheers. <laughs> Mercy Buku. We've got L, so where do we need? We need some weird looking dude. Okay. Okay, looks like bloody Batman to me. Oh. Okay, I don't know how easy it is to complete this game. I've never completed it. Now what I'm finding, as I'm playing these games in my later years, I'm just going to go this. Oh, there is a green Batman coming out. Are you allowed to call it a green Batman? Those, those pterodactyls look pretty cool. Okay, let's grab a red heart. Let's see if we can do this. So, there we go. So the red heart pops up at the top. Get our monies. Now, you, the only reason why you would want to waste... Not waste your time, but the only reason why you'd want to focus on picking up money is if you want to buy letters or buy whole... Hey, look at that flying fish. That's pretty cool. I don't remember seeing that. That's awesome. That was a love... Look at that. That's quite a lovely little animation. I shouldn't have killed him, really. I'm not sure if I should be here. Seems very dangerous. 
at that? We've got a house over here. Weird pe penis looking. Oh! I should have known that guy was going to come out of there, shouldn't I? But I didn't, because I'm an idiot. Ooh. Oh! <sighs> hey, what, guys? This is pretty, pretty tricksy stuff. Oh, no, we've lost our lives. We've lost our, um... Mega. You coming out? Weird. No. We've lost our um, shooters. Shooties. Right, let's try and do the bombs. Bomb Jack, Mo. Yes. A weird uh, pixel. Oh, look at this. This is Twitch gaming. Oh, you freaking awesome. That's it. That's my, my my view on that is is once you've ruined it, then you might as well just pick them all up. That's the way. Now these jumps, I'm gonna go the treetop route because those jumps look this is bad. I was expecting to shoot that guy in two bullets, not three. You gonna come out? No. But this is a very cute little platformer. I can't remember, did we pick up the, uh, the red heart on this level? Yes. Or if we didn't, then we have now. But the animation, the sprite animation, is, is really nice. Oh, those guys don't want to come out anymore, do they? We are getting nothing. That was appalling, ladies and gentlemen. Did not, I did not say the game was easy. accomplished game, very well put together. A lot of System 3's games were, you know, um, Last Ninja, etc, etc. They did a really good um, driving game called Turbo Charge, which we'll get to at some point. <laughs> but the reason why I'm playing this game is because... Um, oh, look at this, we actually have to reload the beginning of the game. Uh, the reason why I'm playing this is because I saw... Uh, I follow another channel, I'm subbed to another channel on YouTube called Spider Moa. Spider MWA. Spider Moa. Uh, he's, um, I've been watching him for a couple of years. He's a really nice guy. He's really knowledgeable about um, various computers. But I think pertinently, he's from um, Europe. I think he's from... I'm going to have a guess and say I think he's Finnish. But I could be completely wrong. But um, I've been watching him for years. And he, he sort of moved away from videos. And he does a lot more streaming than he then cuts into videos on YouTube now. But he did used to do a hell of a lot of uh, YouTube videos, but he's recently done a video on the Amiga version of this. So let's let's see how far we can get. Let's see if we can play the game without. I'm not sure if you have to get these in order either. Whether there's a Rainbow Islands thing going on, we'll soon find out. Whoa! I had to. Oh, I don't like those dragonfly things. They are tricksy. Flipping it, ladies and gentlemen, it's it is unforgiving. It is unforgiving. Come on, dinosaur, big boy. So we need to fight the snail, do the bomb jacks while we're here. Let's try and get a bit of money to get the bonus shooties. Oh, look, different. Yep. Uh, okay. We are. Literally bomb jack. And a lovely Sid tune uh, just playing just throughout. And as I said, nope! Yeah, I nearly fooled it. I nearly full full scapped it. But in fact I just full twatted it. There he is, look, there he is, the little snaily dude. Sure there's a oh, I'm sure there's a, like a way down there. It's like an arrow pointing down, doesn't it? I can't trust myself. I don't know if that's true or not, you see. Oh, 
I had to get that trigger going. Ooh. Again, a lot of sprites on the screen. Nicely animated. I don't know why we're not getting any more money now. I think maybe we have to drop. Oh, well, we're getting more money now. I thought maybe we had to drop in a letter and then... Can we buy that? Five we need. Terrible. Terrible attempts at shooting. Right, let's get the red heart. Right, so we've got red and pink. Okay. Back. Just realised that I should have, probably could have, would have, ought to have, maybe had if I was less of a Dimbo. Dimbo's quest. Let's get in here and get that. Yes. Mercy book. The doo doo. Expecting, I'm expecting hearts, ladies and gentlemen. Getting nothing. Legend! Okay. Three hearts. I have excellent feelings about this. I guess once you're invin invincible, that's when you should be trying to get your hearts. I don't know what the processes for hearts appearing, anything like that. I have no idea. Right, let's move on. Let's at least keep moving. If a heart appears. There he is. Okay, let's just grab the dude. There we go. So we've got three hearts. We've got two of the letters when we get this guy back. This is where a heart pops up and we lose it. Okay, so we want two hearts. Come on, let's get this done. Oh, it's that guy. I had one of those ones before. Come on, heart. You know what? F you. Let's just go. Get rid of this level. We don't need extra lives, ladies and gentlemen. Where we're going, we don't need lives. It's not technically true, but said it anyway. So yeah, the reason why I'm playing this is because uh, spider man played a um, played the Amiga version. I personally think that the 64 version, which is the version I think was originally coded, unless they did them at the same time, I'm pretty certain the 64 version was the original. Um, I think it's better than the Amiga version. The Amiga version should be a better game. Um, the, 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 the 64 version is a great Commodore 64 game. If you know what I mean, where are all the monsters, man? Nobody here. How are we supposed to do anything? Ah, look at all those. Oh. Right, yellow, red, yellow? What am I? Ah! Okay, so now we know hearts are persistent across levels, ladies and gentlemen. Easy for you to say. Ba -ba -bam -bam. Okay. Okay, Pterodact, die. Die. Look at that. No, they can't get me. Nope. Come on, snail boy. There you are. Oh, you... Greed, ladies and gentlemen. Greed for the gubs. That's what happened there. Nothing but greed. Right now we should. I think we can just buy. We don't have to bomb Jack. We can try and bomb Jack. There we are. Look at that. It's easy bomb jacking. Whoop. Okay. We've got crappy. So we need a blue heart, I think, probably, is going to be. Come on, snail. Those pterodactyls. Man, nasty. Don't want... You don't want them 
the pterodactyls to become hearts, you see, because they're quite difficult to. You've got to hit, you've got to shoot them to switch the colours. Bloody hell. Not getting any gubs, guys. Where's the green Batman? Oh! Oof. You know what? I've realised I haven't bought the. Um, I, I realise. I get it. I get it. I mean, it's, it just takes longer to kill these fish. I really love what, how they've made those fish do that. Yes! I got the steel! There you are, Batman. Woo! Just all for the, all for the extra life, ladies and gentlemen, just so I can... You know what? Don't you turn into hearts. To me, be too hasty. Yes. And we'll pick up our gun thing. So I'm guessing at the end it's going to be a purple heart, ladies and gentlemen. If it's not a purple heart, I would be very upset. I expect a purple heart. Batman? No, Batman. Right, we can get rid of these flying fish now. With ease. I could hit them. They are slippery. Ah, Batman, look at him. Got a good shimmy on. Almost got a rolling thunder shimmy on. Okay, where are a load of Batman? Where is the dude? Well, I'm not picking that up. Keep it. I thought we had a time. There he is. Look, what's he doing there? Right, we don't need any money, so let's just ignore that. Get above the fish. Ooh. It is, I mean, the game plays extremely. I did not push double down there, ladies and gentlemen. I did not. I can only say that was not me. I didn't do it. Right, I'm going to go this way. Oh, look, he's there. You know what? Let's just get in there. We're probably. Jeez, we still need two more. What? Okay, we need a Batman. We know that there's a Batman here. Come on, Batman. Flash for me. Where are you, Batman? Okay. You really do have to be careful here. Batman? Batman. No Batman, man. Oh. It's not Twitch gameplay. Right, where is this Batman dude gonna be? Are there more Batman? Oh my god! That was like pulp fiction. We should be dead, man. Right, come on. Oh, come on, I wanted that to be Batman. Ah, the timer runs out, irrespective of your um, death, so your timer does not replenish. Okay, the Batman has got to be over here. It's not him. Ooh. I don't need these. I'm picking them up because I'm a greedy bugger. Yeah. Right. There is a Batman house. Whoa! But it ain't the Batman you're looking for. Get another Batman? Nope. Now I can see how the game can be tricksy. If you can't find what you're looking for. Oh no! Mistimed that. Just a couple of little pixels. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I clearly can't get past level two of Flimbo's Quest, but. 
the game is very, very good. Worth a play. Uh, I think there are only about six levels. The music is amazing, the graphics great. The gameplay is a little repetitive, but um, it's it's good enough that you can um, that you can spend a half an hour to play it, uh, and it really is a beautiful game to play. It plays exceptionally well. Give it a go. Oh God, yeah, we've got to reload the uh, the title screen. Um, so yeah, I don't know how many of you would have played that before, especially the um, American audience that I think I have, but it's. It's a gooden. It's a reek gooden. And it's worth it just to listen to the, the music from um, Rain and uh, see Johan. Really wait and, and show you on this screen what it is. This one might be one of the non Rain ones. Lawrence Vanderdonk. A strong name. If you're asking me. I wonder if these I think this was a um, a Dutch team. There you go, Johannes Jurgard. Jurgard. Very, very good. Have a go, ladies and gentlemen. You will not be disappointed. Ta-ta. 